What is up everyone, this is Review It, I'm James, and welcome to the review for the new movie, Muppets Most Wanted. Uh, I'm a big fan of the, of the first Muppets movie, well, not necessarily the very first one, I do enjoy it, but I am talking about the most recent one, which came out in 2009 or 10, I believe, and it was kind of a reboot for the Muppets, it was Disney's attempt to bring it all back, and now they've made a sequel that does not contain any of the original stars other than the people who do the Muppet voices and really none of the original writers as far as I as far as I know like Jason Siegel who was pretty much the main writer of the original is not back to this one and that kind of bums me out but hey it's it's a sequel so let me get right into this review first off let me get to the good things about this movie first thing it is it is pretty funny there are some pretty good jokes here and there not necessarily as funny as the original but that's mainly due to the lack of uh, the numerous pop culture references that were in the original, along with the addition of Jason Siegel and Amy Adams kind of over-the-top acting for that for the original movie. This Muppets movie, along with the last one, is a musical, and I actually really enjoy this kind of format for a Muppets movie, and the musical numbers in this movie are actually pretty good, for the most part. Most of them are fairly memorable to an extent, not as memorable as the, the music from the first one, but it is really good to kind of hear the music, and I will admit my foot was tapping for pretty much most of the musical numbers. The plot in this movie is also really good. It's basically just a, a new story for a new movie where uh, this evil look-alike of Kermit named Constantine breaks out of the Russian gulag and makes his way to the Muppets gang where he switches places with Kermit, gets Kermit arrested in the gulag, and him along with uh, Ricky Gervais' character, Dominic, bad guy, they both team up and they have this big scheme to carry the Muppets on a world tour at all these different locations in order to pull off these big heists of treasures and things like that. And I will say the plot is actually pretty fun. I It's, it's a little bit more kid focus than the last one. It doesn't have as many kind of, um, it doesn't have as much appeal to older audiences unlike the last one. Uh, the last one was very much a full family movie where anyone of any age could enjoy it. This one feels much more focused towards kids, but I'm not going to say that the plot wasn't good. It was actually pretty decent. Now, there's not too many bad things with this movie, but one, and this is not necessarily a full negative it's just kind of my opinion and it's not as good as the first one uh overall that is and that's pretty much everything into account like directing script musical numbers jokes uh overall uh, memorable moments from the first one every time i watch it now i can know the musical numbers i can know specific lines i can know when a joke is about to happen if i were to go watch this one again I wouldn't really be able to remember any of the musical numbers. And another thing I really didn't care much for about this movie is it doesn't have the same kind of spirit as the first movie did. And what I mean by that, the first one was a reboot and it really felt like they were trying to make the Muppets popular again. It felt like everyone who was involved with the movie knew the Muppets like the back of their hand. They knew the kind of humor that the Muppets could do. And this movie didn't really seem to have that. It had more of a playful, childish humor to it. All right, so taking all of that into account, I did enjoy this movie. Uh, I don't, I didn't hate it. I didn't dislike it at all. I actually had a pretty good time watching it. And as a Muppets fan, this was definitely a decent movie, but just not as good as the first one. So whereas the original one, I would give it like a 4.5 or a 4.75, I'm going to go with a 3.75 out of 5 for Muppets Most Wanted. So that's basically a, like a rented slash matinee. So, if you're definitely in the mood for a Muppets movie, if you want to take the kids out and see the movie, then this is definitely a good one to see. So, yeah. I enjoy the Muppet movie. I just wish it was as good as the first one. So, that is it for this review. Also, my new gaming channel has finally gone up. There are videos up there right now on it. I will put the link in the description, so please go check that out. And thank you for watching. This is Review It. I'm James. See you next time.